Hello. <laughs> hello, 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 everyone. I am mighty tired as usual, but we need to play some Morrowind, man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still half out of it. How is everyone, though? Hello, hello. Hello to YouTube and all that stuff as well, whenever the VOD eventually goes up. Um... What the fuck were we doing? <laughs> Last week, I remember... Holy shit, dude. Hi, Rune. Who that I just subscribed for 22 months? Damn, almost two years. Also, fuck yeah, these alerts are cool. What's up, my guy? Thank you for the resub. The tier two resub at that. I appreciate you, my guy. Um, Votes. Scooby-Doo, Mass Effect, Mass Effect. I'm assuming probably Mass Effect. I'm going to do those ones now because I'll forget otherwise. Anyways, what the hell was I saying? I, uh... Oh, uh, okay. So we, we did the, the dungeon at the end of last week. I remember that much. And then... We agreed to split the money with the guy that stole her jewels. Um, we got infected with blight again because we ran into a random blight creature like in the world. And then we, uh, I think we, yeah, okay, we cured ourselves of that, and then we were just camping a little bit, you know? Took a little camping trip. The pants quest, yeah, we did do the pants quest, though. <laughs> we got the pants back, gave them to the guy. Right, let's check our journal, see what we actually have. Okay, less, right? There's no scrolling now, so that means, you know, we're getting somewhere. Death of a taxman. The problem with this one, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I sold his tax logs <laughs> because I didn't think we could do anything with it. So there's that. Uh, I mean, I'm, we should be able to like buy it back from someone, right? But I'm not sure. I'm not sure where, like, who we sold it to, though. So we need to find that. Anytime we go into, like, a town, we should probably check that. Uh, Mysterious Killings in Vivek I'd love to get to eventually. <laughs> Temple Pilgrimages of the Seven Graces. I'm waiting to do that one in The Sleepers Awake, because I think those ones are more, like, story kind of things. Larry's tells a little story. Tell me a little story. He didn't come right out and say it, but he suggests that some quote-unquote bad people are bribing a bad magistrate to fix sentences and crimes for criminals. Making these bad people go away might require a bloodbath. I think he wants me to provide the bloodbath. Okay, but who were the bad people again? The bad people are the Kamana Tong. Mm. So... Bad people? What do you mean? The Kamana Tongue? I don't know about that. I don't want to know about that. None of my business. Stay out of the council club. Hmm. Maybe we deal... What's this one? But more mages go to tell me about the Nerevarine. Then report back to him. I'll do a little errand for her first. So I'm beginning to see a pattern here. Rather than pay informants with hard cash, kiss, because that's straight favor for information. Spymaster told me to get... Sharn Grub Muzgob at the Balmora Mages Guild. Okay, so we need to go b to Balmora to the Mages Guild. Where's Balmora? Uh, that's called Dara. That's Nissus. Balmora. So we can walk there. We can walk there now, actually. Might as well. Then I have good news to share myself. What is your good news, Rue? Um, Noodle's still crying about the milk. I offered to go and get her milk, but she said no, so... <laughs> it's a tragedy of her own making. She sent me a message asking for milk. I missed that one, bought everything else she asked me to get. But we forgot the milk. It's tragic, I know. Or missed the milk, I guess, because I didn't even forget it. I didn't know it was needed. But what is your good news? I'm more interested in the good news than Noodle continuing to cry about the milk that she refused to let me go get for. Her. Oh my god, dude. These things are kicking our ass, man. 
Are we like hurt in some way? No, we're fine. Why do we suck so bad? That's okay. It gives us a chance to... Oh, God. Uh. <laughs> okay. I have a uh, hotkey for a specific game on my right click. And, uh, or not a hotkey, but you know what I mean. Anyways, point is, I think it's, uh, I think it's a little, a little messed up at the moment. Like, I think it's triggering when it shouldn't be. Uh, because I'm not playing that game. So, I need to go here, go to mouse. Uh, this should be, like, for a specific game. So, switch profile. Okay. It says that I need Razor Synapse. I'm... Oh, there it is. Profile. Okay. Switch profiles. There we go. That's better. <laughs> okay. You got your graduation contract shit sorted? You were able to get an extension, so now you just gotta not fuck up. Oh, man. You got this, my guy. What is... Oh. What is that? Oh, hey. We got a... Oh... Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to remember. We figured out hotkeys were a thing. I remember that. So I was trying to figure out how to work them and that was not going so well. We'll get that figured out soon. Now that you got the grad thing sorted and you can focus on the job part, hell yeah, dude. Now nah, you got this, man. 100%, you got this shit. But we suck so bad at spells. Up to 17, we're getting better slowly, getting better. Our intelligence is still super low though, and I have no plans on like investing in it anytime soon until you know we're better with our actual weapons. Wait, oh, it's a right click, okay. So this is spells, this is weapons, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just need to pass your class now, and that's where the stress is. Yeah, classes can always be stressful, but again, you got this, though, my guy. Like, I understand where the stress comes from, but, like, I don't feel like you got anything to worry about, you know? Ew, diseased. So this definitely isn't the road that we're meant to be taking, but I just saw a random road, and I couldn't help but follow it. <laughs> So, we're going this way now. Maybe there's something here. And it kind of loops around to Balmora in a way, right? Not exactly, but in a roundabout way. You're gonna die now. Oh, well, nope. Nope. Okay, well. If I could hit you. There you go. He dead. He dead now. Is that a thing? That looks like that could be a thing, but let's go this way. It's more towards Balmora. Oh, you bastard, really? Dude, come on. <laughs> Bro! Why? Hit him! <laughs> God, this game, dude. Okay. I can't wait until we play, like, Fallout or, uh,. Obliv I don't Ob Oblivion doesn't use the the roll to hit, does it? I don't think it does. Can't wait till we play one of those games. <laughs> I'm enjoying my time with Morrowind. But the the constant missing is rough, dude. <laughs> because especially because of all the extra rules, right? If we weren't doing the extra rules with the limitations on healing and whatnot, it would make the game a lot easier. But I like the extra restrictions. It's just like, oof. When you can't guarantee a hit on something, even though, like, you're very clear. Oh, we're, we're dead. <laughs> what was that thing? <laughs> Brosive. That thing kicked our asses. What was that? Well, okay, then. I thought it was just, like, one of those things that we fought a million times, but apparently not. All right, so... Maybe we just go the normal way to Balmora then? <laughs> like, <laughs> you're also playing a Bethesda game? I'm assuming Starfield, which 
I think everybody knows my opinion on Starfield at this point. Like, it's whatever, man. We'll try it eventually. Like, you're doing great, Noodle. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> like I've told you before, I'm glad you are enjoying it. I'm glad other people that are playing it are enjoying it. But, uh... I, I'm going to wait on it. I'll play it eventually. Maybe wait for the game of the year edition to come out or, um, I don't know. We'll see. The tiny bit that I've watched of it and what I've like heard from different people, just none of it really made me feel like I needed to play it, you know? So we'll, we'll just play it when we play it. It's a Bethesda game, so I'm definitely going to eventually. But I'm in no rush. If we do enjoy it, though, it's going to have to be added to this list. With its extra bullshit rules and whatnot. Does it have a survival mode built into it? Bethesda's kind of hit and miss on the survival mode stuff, like... Sometimes they put them in their games, sometimes they don't. They've been doing it more recently. Like, obviously, they added it to Skyrim with one of the micro mods, the paid mods. Uh, Fallout. I mean, New Vegas wasn't a Bethesda game, necessarily, but, you know, New Vegas had it. Uh, Fallout 4 eventually got a survival mode added to it. It's one of those things where, like, it would seem weird if they didn't include it. Because, like... You know, <laughs> they've been putting it in all their other recent games. Fallout 76 has it, like, basically built in from the beginning. Probably won't full purchase till Game of the Year yourself, but I'm enjoying it, so Game Pass, so you don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, personally, I feel like if you're enjoying it, you know, you might as well pick it up. Because if you play it for... What, Game Pass is $10 a month these days? So if you play it for six, seven months, then that's the full price of the game already anyways, right? That's if I do decide just to try it at some point, it'll probably be Game Pass myself, though. Eventually, I do want to buy it, though, because of the, like, full mod support and everything that you get with buying a Bethesda game, like owning a game on Steam versus the Windows Store. The UWP versions, as far as I'm aware, they still haven't fixed all the problems with, like, mods not working and whatnot in UWP apps. Okay. A lot of just mean things on this road, dude. Dead. Oh, shit, you're not dead? How did that first... Oh, you're a blighted rat. My god, man. I'm... Why all these blighted creatures? I... <laughs> and the blight sucks so bad. Because of, like... Just because of the disease, right? Getting, catching blight, man, is rough. I don't mind the, like, stronger creatures. But so far, at least, I think, no, we did have, like, potions that would let us cure blight, right? But, like, we kept getting blight back when we were using the potions. So I'm assuming there's some sort of reason why you, you can't cure it that way. Like, maybe it just holds it off for a little while or something. It's kind of what it seemed like, at least. Didn't think the part of the mods was already accounting the cost of the game pass compared to buying. Yeah, I mean, it definitely doesn't take six or seven months to beat a Bethesda game. If that's your goal is to beat it. You know, if you're me and your goal is just to fuck around endlessly, then that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> but, you know, to each their own and all. But, uh, yeah. Having having the, the ability to mod is very nice. I'm pretty sure, like, some mods work on UWP apps. Just not the, the full suite of them. Oh, 
God damn it, we're being attacked on two fronts. Oh my God, dude, the this, this scamp is hitting us. Okay, scamp dead, cliff racer dead. Um, I got any ingredients to eat? No effect. No effect. Oh wait, that one's kind of valuable. We'll sell that one. So are the fire salts. <laughs> Eat some hide. Yummy. What did that just do? Drain attribute intelligence. Oh, zero points though. Wait, what? Why is it? I guess just because it's being drained? War hides. Yummy. <laughs> okay, so all the hides are just bad. <laughs> they drain fatigue. They drain uh intelligence. What about some crush fiber? Oh. Willow Anther. Damn, dude. We are like super unlucky. Value 2. Eat it. Make, making you want to play Skyrim? Play some Skyrim, dude. Drain attribute. Okay, so everything just drains attributes, man. <laughs> Thankfully, none of it lasts particularly long, I don't think. I was hoping for something that would give us, like, a tiny bit of health back, maybe? A scamp skin. <laughs> okay, it's also bad. <laughs> Drain Magicka! I mean, thankfully, we're, like, out of Magicka anyways. Uh, some resin. Nope. We need to get up to level 15. Once we get to level 15, it should tell us these things. Like, what effect this stuff has. I mean, racer plumes are kind of valuable, but we get so many of them. Damn, dude. Literally, everything is just bad. <laughs> is there anything here? Like some chests or anything? We should probably take a potion, actually, though. Before we get, like, too deep into this. Probably don't need exclusive restore health. Uh, quality also seems like a bit much. Standard, there we go. Standard restore health. Nothing? There's gotta be something here in these ruins, right? More scamps. Thank you for the experience, Mr. Scamp. Really? Can you even get in here to attack me? I don't think you can, my guy. Ooh, there's a door. It's a shrine. What are you? You're a human of some sort. Holy balls, dude. Bad, bad, bad lady. Holy shit, dude. Okay, she had some sort of magical effect. That was, holy shit. Let's, uh, let's take a restore health potion. Maybe eat some mushrooms. Hey, the mushrooms did something good for us. I don't know what. Resist corpus disease. Oh no, that's the mare's warding. Gives us water walking. Okay. What about spore pod? Alchemy skill increased to 15. Let's go. We now know a tiny bit about alchemy. A tiny bit. Oh. Okay, let's get our health back real quick. Let's let that build. And then... Since we now at least know a tiny bit about it. Like, I still don't think we're actually going to be able to successfully make anything. Oh, wait. We're technically in battle right now? Oh, is it that cliff racer still chasing us, bruh? <laughs> Just give up, Mr. Cliff Racer. Are you even trying, bro? This looks kind of like a chest or something, no? Okay. Oh, well, whatever. Apparently he doesn't want to fight us that bad, man. He's just, just stuck over there. 
far away do we have to get from him before he actually like gives up, gives up? So we can try our newfound level 15 alchemy, man. We're master alchemists now, don't you know? Okay. Sounds like we're out of battle. Okay, we have all the stuff. So agility, restore fatigue, and restore fatigue. So crab and eggs could potentially give us restore fatigue. We have a bunch. Uh, I wonder if cooked crab and crab meat, like would that work? It would. <laughs> that seems weird. But um, sure, create. How many do we have? Uh, <gasps> we actually did it! We made a potion! Is it any good? We probably won't know. We should have given it, like, a fancy name or something. What was it called? Just Restore? Holy shit, I can't type. Oh my god, that's an I. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> hey, hey, look at that! Restore Fatigue and Resist Shock. 12 points for 30 seconds? That actually seems pretty decent. What does the regular Fatigue Potion do? 40 points for 5 seconds. So 40 points for 5, that's 200. 12 points for 30, though, would be 360. So ours is actually better, it just takes longer. 20 points for 5, that's 100. Yeah. Dude, ours is legit better. Nice. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Proud kitty mom moment? What? <laughs> what happened, Noodle? I mean, I'm glad for you, I guess, but we're all a little confused at the moment. Drain Magicka, drain fatigue, fortify speed, water breathing, resist poison, personality, drain, restore fatigue, drain health. I'm not looking to make poison. I need, like, restore health. Levitate? Racer plumes? Aha! And trauma root. Could give us levitate, which... Could be useful? Okay, well, it all failed, but... I need... Where's the moon sugar? Drain luck? No... I forget what we needed. It was like, what, marshmallow and something for restore health potions? That's what we need to get. So we're, we're what? We're working our way down to... Was it Balmora that we were working our way down to? I think so. And I think... Isn't that where our, like, house is? Because I want to raid our, our coffers. Because I feel like we had some ingredients in there that we left behind. Specifically to use whenever our alchemy got a little bit better. I just want to sink it all into trying to make health potions. Because that's like the most important potion for me right now. Char <clears throat> Excuse me. Charlotte's laying on your feet. Katie is on the other cushion of the couch. Charlotte's tail is draped across Katie's paws. And Katie is being so good. And Charlotte left. Aww. <laughs> I mean, it's not like they don't get along. It's just most of the time they're either like they're fighting, but it looks like they're play fighting, you know, but Charlotte doesn't like lay down on the couch all that often. She loves attention, but only in like certain places. <laughs> She's a weird cat. Oh, I can't pick you. Lame. Um, let's get some water while we're out and about. I don't know if I'm close enough to the water. There we go. Water catcher. Fill your containers with water. Good. Now we need to pick everything that we see so we can alch alchemicize, <laughs> alchemalize? I don't know, man. Words are hard. Doesn't this look pickable? 
Maybe we've already picked them and they just haven't grown back yet. Guess that's a possibility. The next thing we need to train after we get alchemy to a decent level is uh, enchanting. We need to figure out how enchanting works and then get it up to a decent level. Because I feel like that's one of the things that's going to help us the most in the game is getting some decent enchants on our equipment. Um, is it this side of town? That's the houses. What is this? The razor hole? I don't even remember the razor hole. Okay, this is the rich part of town. So we want to be down here. No. No, okay, yeah, we're on the wrong side of town. We want to be the other side. Who are you? Greetings, citizen. Citizen. <laughs> citizen. I'm Hedvild. Hedvild? I don't know. Welcome to Balmora. We're House Lalu Town and loyal citizens of the Empire. What's your latest room? No, we're not looking for more quests right now. We have enough stuff going on in our life. I don't really care what you got going on. I will, speak listen, traveler, but make it quick. I will not speak. I have nothing to say. Stop over at home. Hope we still have marshmallow and whatever the other thing was. Speak travel. Hush. Steal from ourselves real quick. Okay, yeah, we have a bunch of marshmallow. So then the question is, what was the other thing? Marshmallow and. Hmm. <laughs> well, it's not in that one, whatever it is. And it's not in this one. Damn. So we might have used it all or accidentally sold it all. But it was definitely Marshmallow was half of it. Uh, Yeah, restore health. It's right there at the top. I wonder, do we have anything else that can restore health? It may not be, like, as cheap of an ingredient to do it, but... Like eggs? Drain fatigue? No. Drain will? No. Drain fatigue? No. <laughs> My god, do we have a lot of drain fatigue crap, man. Just drain in general. Detect enchantment. I wonder what that's used for. Fresh fiber. It's more drain fatigue. More drain fatigue? Holy shit, dude. Nothing but drain fatigue. Literally everything's drained. Okay. That's kind of garbage. Um, Well, we're going to keep a hold of the marshmallow. Because <laughs> hopefully we'll find the other stuff eventually. Start up Skyrim. What race and what class? I mean, are you in like a magic mood? <laughs> the classic stealth archer mood? What kind of mood are you in, you know? That's going to be the big deciding factor in it all. Oh. You ruined Noodle's eyes. She's going to cry now. <laughs> it's cute, though. Okay, so we need to go to the Mage's Guild. No moods, really? I mean, I've always wanted to try to do a complete uh, magic playthrough. It's just like, especially in the early game, magic sucks, man. <laughs> in Skyrim. So, for that reason, I'm tempted to say, like, a high elf destruction restoration. Um, you know? But, obviously it's up to you. Fuck it, why not? Go for it, dude. Specif specifically, I feel like destructions super bad like early on you know like quickly outlander i haven't much time um al al alteration that's what it's called right the one where you like summon stuff i feel like that's not too bad early on because they can just kind of like you? distract your enemies while you're hitting them with arrows and shit 
But destruction, they just like run up on you and destroy your shit, man. They can do stealth archer later on. Nice. Can you do conjuration? Of course, man. It's your playthrough. You can do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> uh, this one. We're looking for Sharn Gra Muzgob. Uh, Sharn Gra Muzgob. Okay. Conjuration. Bro, I literally cannot talk. Conjuration and restoration. Sounds like a plan to me. Speak, traveler. Restoration, I feel like, is always a necessity, you know? As at least, like, a backup skill. Because the healing spells are just too good, man. Haha, -ha, you! Uh, what can you tell me of the Mage's Guild? It's a rat's nest. Unsound practi practices. Slipshod scholarship. Politics, lame brains, and lunatics, but essential for research, and worthwhile for the discounts on services, if nothing else. Marin Dren here, she's not so bad, good intentions, and Edwina Elbert over in Aldrun, interesting projects. A bit out of touch, perhaps, but sound and sensible? So... I can see they've got a uh, high opinion of the Mage's Guild here. Um, what do you train? Oh, okay. Oh! You can see our moon sugar, so you won't give us anything. Well, whatever. Uh, what kind of errand do you have for me? I need the skull of Le Lelvu. <laughs> You'll find it in Andrano Ancestral Tomb, but take care not to upset the natives. The Dumber have some peculiar primitive prejudices against necromancy and take grave objection to unauthorized tomb visits. Andrano Ancestral Tomb. The tomb is south of Pelagiod, just off the road. Just before you reach the fork where the road goes southwest towards Sejanin and southwest of Vivek. You may need an enchanted blade. Some spirits are immune to normal weapon. Here, take this old short sword and maybe these old scrolls will come in handy. Taldum Scorcher? I wonder what that is. Scroll Vitality makes sense. I wonder what the short sword is. Um... So south of Pelagiod, just off the road before the fork. Okay. South of Pelagiod. Right before the fork. That's what we're hunting for. Uh, tap. Weapon. Fire blade. Not very strong in just like raw damage, but fire damage 1 to 25. That doesn't seem too bad. What is this? Silver Spark Axe. We must have picked that off of, up off of someone. Which means we should probably sell some stuff, honestly. So, where's my Moon Sugar? Barter. Will you buy any of the random stuff we have? Um, we, we're okay on food. We can sell the meat the racer plumes anything worth like 10 or more i think i'm gonna sell the other stuff i'll probably just eat for the experience value two value five even the stuff that has bad effects on us keeping the marshmallow though green lichen sure oh wait that's not well whatever <laughs> that's not actually worth anything i don't know why i sold that to them but whatever you can have that too um okay the rest of it we're probably gonna eat any thing that i'm like chameleon and sanctuary that's pretty good tempted to sell back the fire blade five to seven yeah our demon taunt is better <laughs> take back that weapon you sold me <laughs> Do you have any restore health potions? Well, you have two marshmallow. I'll buy those. Was it salt trees? It's restore fatigue. I feel like it might have been salt trees. Might have been the thing. Anyways, okay. Uh, health. Not bargain. Not cheap. I mean, quality's fine, but it's really the standard that I'm looking for. Okay. Now, is there anything else off of me you'll buy? 
Silver Spark Axe, go ahead and get rid of it. Okay, you won't buy regular stuff, that's fair. We have like so many enchanted items that we're just carrying around and I don't know if it's really worth it. Also, we have two of the same exact thief ring. So take one of them, I guess. Don't really need two. Um, get rid of this cheap stuff. Keep the quality stuff. Drain willpower. Uh, fuck it, sell it. It's heavy. Fortify endurance, drain intelligence. Get rid of it. It's fine. Restore health, restore strength. That stuff's not worth anything to sell. Some rue brush. Just empty flasks. Too bad you won't buy those. Probably buy the soul gem, eh? Oh, really? Would have thought you would have bought that. Okay, well. Seems like a good enough deal. Okay, south of Pelagiad, just off the road before the fork. Okay. South of Pelagiad. Before the fork. Yet I do think he meant well. South of Pelagiad. We got this. I'm gonna forget. I mean, I'm not gonna forget. <laughs> We're gonna forget. There should be... I think it's that one. Oh, that's... We should be checking the... Uh, Hi. Um, <laughs> we should be checking the shops in town anyways to see if we sold our thing to them. Uh, we left our moon sugar down there. Son of a bitch. Uh, directions. Sky to Vardenfeld. Journal. Notes. Random papers. Gem feeder. Unhinging. Cloth. Fairs of wizards. No. No, 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 no. Would it just be called, like, tax? I'm assuming it would be called tax or what something of the sort. No, we're thirsty. And you're the only trader in here, right? Yeah. I think there's another trader. This one. I think this is like a pawnbroker or something, which should buy basically everything. Barter. Damn, dude. No. It's like a big fat nothing. Okay. I'm waiting. Is there anything else I want to sell you, though? Uh, like two empty flasks. Lesser soul gem. So we have no use for those yet. Ow. Lock splitter. Um. Open 100 points. That's pretty good. Gem feeder. We don't need those right now. Uh, open locks. Fire damage. I mean, that could come in handy. 35. To, yeah, I can see where that could come in handy in a pinch. We'll keep a hold of that for now. Healing scrolls. Teleportation scrolls. We'll keep all that. Um... Why do the scrolls show up under magic and miscellaneous? It's weird. Steel katana? Yeah, we can get rid of that. Uh, steel dagger? Get rid of that too. Okay. Oh shit. No, uh, 340. there we go, 340, goodbye, now I think there's one more trader we frequent in town, isn't there, maybe not, but I f thought this might be a trader here somewhere, the lucky lockup, do you have a trader here? 
Why is everybody suddenly whistling? I don't remember people whistling before. Yeah, no, I guess not. Okay, I'm listening. Alright, so where is Pelagiod? Isn't it to the south? Yes. So south of Pelagiod, somewhere fork to Sajanin. So really, we just want to like take the the bug <laughs> down to Sajanin and then just start heading up towards Pelagiod. Hello, bug. I would like to ride you, please, and thank you. Travel to Sajanin. Need a quick save in case the game crashes at some point. Where would you like to go? And that was an uncomfortably long load time. Quick save. Are we hungry, thirsty, anything? A little bit hungry. Um quick crab. What would you give a high elf who was raised by an orc legionnaire as a name? Bruh, I am terrible with names. Legit, you know what I do whenever I need like an actual fantasy name? Fantasynamegenerator.com. 100% that's what I would recommend if you're if you're looking for a name cuz I whew, <laughs> I cannot. There's no way. Same? Yeah. <laughs> I am useless in that sort of situation. Andrano Ancestral Tomb, okay. Andrano. Ooh, mushrooms. This is food, alchemy food. Speaking of alchemy food. Let's see if we can make our health potions. I think it's salt trees and marshmallow. Restore health, let's go. Okay, we got three chances, man. Restore health, um, zero, <laughs> version zero, <laughs> create, let's go, two of them, bro, I'm legit super surprised that worked, that is amazing, okay, V zero, five points for nine seconds, that's 45 health, and we have a max of 82, so that's over half health. That's not too bad considering how low our uh, skill level is with them. Exposure increasing rapidly. Why? We shouldn't be wet anymore. A leer? I like it. Sounds like a good name to me. Okay, this looks like a fork in the road. So that means the dungeon should be right up here somewhere. Which means we should probably find a place to camp. Which if there's a flat spot on top of this hill, which there is, then I think right here, man. We camping. Sleep until morn. And in the morning, we will go adventuring. After we have some breakfast. Save. Stream 13. Okay. Uh, so Ancestral Tomb, presumably just off the road somewhere around here. Presumably. We don't know for sure, but this looks to be the right area. Oh, wait, this is another fork in the road. Okay, well, let's keep heading towards Pelagiod. So we just know that it's south of the town. 
and be before the fork. Maybe this is it. Haha! -ha! Look at us go, dude. Quick save for crash. Um. Okay, there's definitely stuff in here. Okay, uh, that's a ghost. So for ghosts, we need Demon Tonto. I don't remember what my quick key is for it, so. One hit kill, let's go, dude. You suck, Mr. Ghost. Dead body. Ooh, extravagant pants. Expensive shoes aren't worth taking. None of that other stuff's worth taking. I don't like the sounds, man. <laughs> the sounds of like, uh, yeah, receive a bl blessing. Um, Veloth's in dwelling. Fortify Magicka. Okay. Um, anyways, the, like, creepy-ass sounds, man, of, like, whispering in the background and whatnot. Not a fan. Hmm. Didn't expect this to go on so long, not gonna lie. Should have went the other way first, maybe. Oh shit, this is the wrong, this is the regular one. Not the bound dagger, that's why. I was like, why isn't this doing any damage? We're gonna die. No, we're just dumb. That's not worth anything. That's too heavy to care about. Okay, we're here looking for a skull. Any skulls by any chance? I will steal the offerings to the dead. That's a skull, but apparently not the right skull. Man, why has it got a whisper? That's creepy, bro. I was gonna say, I fully expect there to be more. Oh shit, you're an archer? <gasps> Holy fuck balls, dude. That archer hurt. Um, where is healing bomb? Okay. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that arrow like destroyed us, man. Okay. Um, we got a little bit of health back. Where's the demon Tonto? Uh. Bro, I'm blind. Did I, like, throw down the Tonto? Okay. Nope. We still have it, thankfully. Oh, we're in the middle of an attack? Where's the spell? Oh, it's right there. I am seriously blind. Nope. Okay, we want him to get close. There we go. Damn you, you... Ooh, we resisted the magic and he still did that? Much damage, dude? Gray shaft of nonsense is right, man. <laughs> Silence for five seconds. Oh, it's a silencing one. A longbow. One to 20, weight of eight. One to 10. But lighter. Uh, we might end up using the longbow. We'll see. Okay, let's take one of our, our very first... Oh, wait, you know what? No, never mind. We have... We have our magic. Let's use our own magic first. Uh, not worth taking anything. 
Where's our magic stats? Before we worry about any of the other shit. As much as I want to drink the potions of our own create creation, this gives us experience. Drinking potions doesn't. I don't think. Be a little weird if it did. Okay, well. Uh, fuck. We're fine. It's fine. Oh, hi. You look friendly. Can I hit you through the door by any chance? No. Oh, shit. The Tonto unequipped again. Oh, we really need to pay attention to that a bit better. No, 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 no. Archer's bad. Oh, oh, the Bone Walkers. Are, are the Bone Walkers the ones that, like, deal permanent damage? Okay, thankfully we didn't get, like, anything negative from it, though, so we should be fine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Bone Walkers are the ones that can, like, permanently decrease your stats. Well, until you, like, take a potion or whatever to fix it. Um... Resist poison, water breathing. I don't want to eat those ones. Is there anything that could potentially be... Fortify strength could be useful, but that's expensive, right? Yeah, no. Never mind. Restore agility, no. Uh, no, guess not. Can we still have health, thankfully. We didn't actually take much damage from those things, even though we kind of fucked up. Holy balls, dude. That's down there. <laughs> I mean, we could use the amulet of slow falling and jump down. And then potentially... Potentially get back out using, well, either a teleport scroll or, of course, we have the, like, agility stuff and whatnot. Uh, so where's our slow falling? There it is. And it's a locked room, so we don't have to worry about, like, enemies coming in. Iron dagger not really worth anything. Cloth sack. Meh. Homilies of blessed... Al Almalexia? Uh, okay. Wait, something about curing all diseases? Oh, tell me, tell me. So wait, this is just like a collection of stories? Hmm. Is it worth anything? 25. We'll steal it. I'm scared. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, you're not a not an archer one. The archer ones legit scare me so much more, man. I don't know if we're just like super weak to archery or what, but I don't think he actually hit us with anything. So we're fine. Hey! Unarmored skill increased to 12. Nice. Uh, take. It's worth money. Chest. Bone mold helm. Oh, it's a uh, medium armor, though. Uh, garbage potions. Can be sold for a tiny bit. Fire damage 40 to 65 points for one second and 15 foot. So that's a, a AOE too. With an additional 0 to 5 points for 5 seconds. That's a weird scroll. That's the skull we're looking for. Dagger of Judgment. So it only does 3 damage. But it damages endurance and strength. Interesting. 
Anything like behind here? No. Take that. Uh, take all of that. Do we dare continue? It's only got five seconds left. What do I have the Demon Tonto on? One. That makes sense. Okay. That's nice and easy. Now's a good time to practice sneaking. We can, if need be, like run down there and then just jump out of this hole. But I would love to actually clear the dungeon for the experience. Really? Empty? Okay. Find that hard to believe. But it is. Choke weed, I almost missed that. Bungler's Bane? Small chest. Silver dagger? Uh, yeah, money. Why not? Bigger chest. Nordic battle axe. Uh, one to 30. What's the weight? 30. Weight 30, one to 35. Okay, so ours is a little bit better. I'm sure these are used for something. <laughs> right? Like the journeyman's armorer's hammer and repair prongs. I'm sure they're used to like, I don't know, repair things. But I have no idea how that works. Do we just, like, click on ourselves with the hammer, maybe? Oh. Use is 20. Okay. So. Okay, well. <laughs> obviously, we suck at repairing stuff. Netch leather right pauldron. Oh. It succeeded. Okay, so where did that go? Netch leather... Did that, like, repair it totally when it repaired? Pretty sick if it did. Uh, the greaves are pretty. 45, 66. Where did the right pauldron go? Right gauntlet? Wait, we're not wearing any pauldrons. Oh wait, there it is. Condition 50, yeah, it did completely repair it. Nice, we still need a left one though. Uh, where'd that hammer go? What else is like, anything else that's super low? Left gauntlet, nice. Okay, yeah, now we can't do anything. But what about repair prongs? Is that a usable thing? It is. Is it like... Okay, quality 0.5. So it's just a lower quality repair. I wonder if like certain things are better for repairing certain types of gear, you know? Like if prongs are better for repairing weapons and hammers are better for repairing armor or something along those lines. Okay. Well, now we know whenever we find hammers and stuff, just use them. I don't know if we actually get any sort of skills for it, though. Like experience for anything. Okay, so we came up this way. And then there's stairs over there. So let's wrap around. Oh, this goes back down, which is a little bit scary. Oh, that's about to wear off, okay. Okay, also empty. Feel like we're getting super lucky, man. Ball brute. Hound meat ghoul heart.
back up we go then. This place is a lot bigger than I expected. Now I figured the ancestral tombs would be pretty small. Oh, and this is where we were before. Okay, so that should be a full clear. Hell yeah, man. Okay. Is there anything in here that we didn't grab because of how scared we were before? Looks good to me, man. Bro, that wasn't too bad. Our levels have slowly been paying off. Um, yeah, what does the restoration do? Mm, nothing. <laughs> we still have the other blessing. Okay. Uh, wrong way. Also wrong way. Here we go. This is the direction we want to go. Um, okay, Sejanine's close by. And Sejanine is where we actually would have found the thing at. But since Pelagiod's close by as well, I'm going to stop there first. See if any of them have the tax document. If not, we're going to loop back around to Sejanine. And then see if I sold it to the trader in town there. Because I would like to do that quest. More so just to get it off my list than anything. There might be a way to like abandon quests or something. But I'd rather, you know, actually do it. Than just delete it. Assuming that even is a possibility. I'm surprised at how smooth that went. I mean, there were a couple somewhat close calls. But that wasn't all that bad. We did okay with that one, man. Oh, I remember this place. I don't think we would have sold it here, though. We'll, we'll run around. I, we'll stop in the in there. What was that? Just houses, houses. I remember there wasn't much to do in this town, too. Uh, oh, is there a helicopter outside, love? Proposition. Huh. Sneak security, short blade. I mean, that's cheap points for intelligence. How much money do we have? 910? Um. Yes, <laughs> helicopters are cool. Helicopters are cool. I agree, love. The, this is just cheap levels is why I'm doing this. Plus, like, having more security would be helpful in some situations. I mean, a lot of it we can get away with just by using, uh, you know, spells and stuff, but still. You don't barter, right? Yeah, no. And since the governing attribute is intelligence, maybe we can get one times five intelligence thing. Um Hurry this up, will you? Do you have beds? You sell food. Buy your cooked food. In exchange, I'll sell you some of my more expensive stuff. If we have any. We do somewhere. There we go. Wax. Fire salts. Bull hearts. Wish there was like a sorting, just any kind of sorting, man. Other than just by, is it by name? I think it's by type and then by name. Ash salts. Two, two, one. Those are always one of my favorite mods on like uh, Skyrim and stuff or the UI mods. Especially the ones that give, say, value to weight ratios. Super handy. Which I'd be surprised if somebody didn't make on here. Honestly, I didn't even think about that. That's something I might look into. See if there's any, like, uh, small UI mods. I'm not looking for a full UI overhaul, but something basic like the ability to sort by value would be really handy. Do you buy anything or just foodstuffs? I'm assuming just foodstuffs. 
cheap bargain. Quality. Store health. It's like if I tried to sell you this longbow. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Um... 200 gold, please, for all that. And... Bed. Yep, I will accept the bed. Thank you for that. I had to double check he didn't have the, uh... You have questions. The tax documents. Is this my room? This is my room. I will rest until tomorrow. We are well rested. That calls for a drink. <laughs> and some nice crab meat. Why not? Crab meat and uh, greens, you know? Oh, no yams. Yeah. Let's have some yams with our crab. I don't think there's any other shops in this town. Wait. Mabestian supplies? Okay, never mind. There is a trader in town. Just a generic trader. With all kinds of crap. Um, Tax records! Let's go! I'm glad that I stopped in here and looked, man. This is where we sold the tax records. Dope. Okay, so after we complete this quest, then we can turn around and try and complete the tax record quest. However the hell that works. Hey, thank you for the five bits, love. Five bits for finding the tax records. Uh, I'll sell you some books. You can have the books. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, wait, no, there was. There was, uh, yeah, the bone mode helm, because that's medium armor. The extravagant pants. Um... We still need to find a right pauldron. I keep forgetting to even, like, look for one. I mean, it is a bit heavier, but... Dagger of Judgment. It only does three. The damage attribute is nice. But no. Keeping the Demon Tonto. Sell the Silver Dagger. Go ahead and take the Chitin Short Bow. That's fine. We'll, we'll use the longbow. I think that's everything now. 311, you don't have anything I want, right? Do you have a right pauldron? Or not right, left? Because, yeah, we already have a right pauldron, right? Yeah, so do you have a left pauldron by any chance? You do, but it's steel. It's annoying. No, I don't think it's worth it. Jing. Oh, yes. Oh, that's scrib jerky. Yeah, whatever. I already clicked on it. I don't feel like putting it back now. I was hoping to get uh, salt trees. Try and make some more healing potions. Okay, good enough. What Bye, and thank you for your time. Dope. So in that case, we don't even need to stop at Pelagion. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to save. We haven't left town yet, so it's fine. Stream 13, save. Um, yeah, no. So we can just head straight back for Balmora then. Yeah. It'd probably be faster to go to Sejanine though, now that I'm thinking about it. It's not like we haven't walked this road a million times, so it's not anything new for us to see. Can we steal some of your cork bulb? Apparently not. Do you sell cork bulb? No. Lame. Okay, uh, yeah, I think going back to Sejanine would just be a lot faster. And then taking the uh, fast travel point from there, actually. If it was like a route we hadn't taken before or something, I'd consider it, but... 
I'm getting sidetracked already. <laughs> I see that random point there, Fields of Kumu or whatever, and I'm like, oh, we haven't been there. I wonder what that is. But no, dude, we don't, we, no, just stay away. There's no reason for us to go there right now. Just stay away from it. Just collect your flowers and go where we need to go. Come here, you rat. Come on. I know you want to fight me. Yeah. Good rat. Axe go increase 42. I'm surprised we haven't leveled up yet. Between all of the, the training and... And just the... The, uh, the normal skills that we've acquired. Like, levels that we've acquired. Surprised we haven't popped a level yet. Ah, said Janine. I mean, ooh, that scared me. Um, there's the trader in said Janine too. He might sell a left pauldron. We'll stop in and take a look at least. Certainly wouldn't mind to get a full set of armor. Since apparently we've been walking around for like ever without it. Only major skills count towards level, right? Bro, I have no idea. <laughs> Is that true? That's... So short blade, mercantile axe, light armor, hand to hand? Maybe. I have no idea. <laughs> I know so little about... Uh, progress towards level increase. Six, of t uh, six out of ten. Let's see. I don't think it does. Also, welcome tonight, man. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. Um, you think that increases the 6 out of 10? Maybe? I trained 3 or 4 times with Sneak. Well, with Security or whatever. Um, and then I got, I think, 2 levels with Axe. 1 level with Armor. And then one level with restoration. But I that was today. I guess I don't remember what happened last week. Skill-wise? So no, you probably are right then. Because we would have got half of that 6 out of 10 just from the like 2 or 3 axe levels that we got. Well, darn. What do the minor skills do then? Do they count toward it as well or do they... I don't know. That's something I might have to Google at some point or something. Barter. Left. Chitin left pauldron. Um, yes. I will buy that. Thank you. I'll give you 15 gold. Now we can finally have a full set armor. I don't know how I ever missed that we didn't have the full set. Like... You think minor counts too? Okay. Like I said, I have no clue, man. <laughs> you could tell me basically anything about the game, and I would just kind of have to accept it as that might be true because <laughs> we've played the game for what? Roughly, we play about two and a half-ish hours on average. Two to three hours. 13. So about 30-some hours probably I've played this game at this point. And I still know so little about it. It's incredible how little I really know. Travel back to Balmora. And then from well, here, we're going to Mage's to Guild. Okay, that was kind of scary. I wonder if these things ever, like, refill. Probably not. <laughs> Okay, Mage's Guild, though. That's where we're headed. Should have went in the downstairs entrance, actually, because that's the person we want to talk to, is the, the orc down here. You. I got you your skull, and also I came back to pick up my moon sugar. I need to remember to grab the moon sugar. Skull has been removed. Okay. Um. So now you'll tell me about the Nerevarine, right? 
But will you tell me more about them first, this person? He was no one special, a journeyman enchanter. There may be many skulls in Indrano tomb, but you'll have no problem recognizing Lulavule's skull from the ritual markings. Okay. Uh, so tell me about the prophecies first. Ashlander culture honors dream visions and prophecy. Unlike the temple and the Western cults, which regard visions and prophecy as primitive superstition, wise women interpret dreams and visions and pass them on to succeeding generations. Holy shit, thank you so much for the 100 bits, Law. I appreciate that, man. Just shared 100 bits. I really appreciate that, my guy. Uh, the most common version of the Nerevarine prophecy is the Stranger. Did you know that Nerevar was known to possess a magical ring named One Clan Under Moon and Star? Nerevar swore his promise to honor ancient Ashlander traditions and land rights on this magical ring. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I know, like, we are the Nerevarine or something along those lines, right? This Ashlander call believes the long-dead hero Nerevar will be reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes. According to legend, the prophesied Nerevarine will cast down the false gods of the Tribunal Temple, restore the traditional ancestor worship practiced by the Ashlanders, and drive all Outlanders from Morrowind. Both Temple and Empire outlaw the cult, but it persists among the Ashlanders, who care little for Imperial or Temple law. Here, take this copy of my notes on the topic for Caius. Nice. So that's what we actually came here for. See, the whole thing that I don't get... The cult must be wrong, right, <laughs> in some way, because, like, if we end up being the Nerevarine, which I'm pretty sure that's kind of the plot, I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's the plot, we are an outlander, <laughs> right? That doesn't quite seem to, like, match up. Why would we force out all of the outlanders <laughs> if we in and of ourselves are one? Something seems wrong there. Tell us more about the Nerevarine. Ashlanders have a prophecy that they'll be reborn, okay? And Nerevar himself, is, he was a first age hero of the Dunmer people. He was a great general and leader. He helped form the first council and united the Dunmer house against foreign invaders aided by the traitors of House Dagoth. He triumphed over Morwen's enemies at Red Mountain, but died in the battle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, let's run back to Caius. Thank you so much for your help there, Sharn Gra Musgrab. Ooh. Moon sugar. <laughs> don't want to leave that behind again. Thankfully, things don't despawn all that quickly. Uh, other side of town. Excuse me. Go I have ahead. nothing. Don't mind the moon sugar in my pockets. I mean, sugar from sugar cane, not from the moon. <laughs> fucking anyways Caius how you doing man uh we got your thing can we read it first will it give us any more info following our notes from okay oh that is that is a lot longer than I expected it to be uh ba -ba -ba -ba. it's hard to judge how widespread it is among the Ashlanders they believe will return okay Great houses and temples have abandoned the pure teachings of the prophet Veloth, forsaking ancestor worship of the false gods of the tribunal. Uh, the temple, on the other hand, venerates Saint Neverar, but rejects the disgusting notion that the false incarnate will walk the earth like a ghoul. Are we a ghoul? Prophecies. First, many less well-informed scholars assume that the phrase journeyed far neath moon and star is just cleased Shay to suggest a very long journey was known to possess a magical okay so that phrase is talking about their ring second the reference to seven curses must certainly refer to the lost prophecies verses known to the ashlander as the seven curses the stranger so that's the poem when earth is sundered and skies choked black and sleepers serve the seven curses to the hearth there comes a stranger journeyed far neath moon and star Though stark born, desire uncertain, his aspect marks his certain fate. Wicked stalk him, righteous curse him, prophets speak, but all deny. Many trials make manifest the stranger's fate, the curse's bane. Many touchstones try the stranger, many fall, but one remain. To me, it sounds more like we're taking down the houses or something. But I know nothing, though, so don't mind me. 
Caius, though, surely you can make something of this, right? I did the thing for you. These are Sharn's notes on the Nerevarine call. Excellent. I'm promising you to blade or promoting you to Blade's apprentice. Stream the Barbarian Weenie. Every time I see that name, man, I forget. Anyways, it's like, <laughs> I'd like some time to think how this fits in with the Emperor's plans for you. So if you'd like to get in a little freelance adventuring, go ahead. Whenever you're ready, I'll have new orders for you. We will come back to you. Because we got those tax documents. And I'm assuming we can do something with them. Proceus Vitellia, such a mean census and excise office. Maybe we can get the money from these people that still owe money? Like uh, good old Fargoth? Oop, wrong button. J. Death of a taxman. Parchment, what looks like tax registered. Also had 200 gold on his body. Probably taxes he collected. Yeah, I'm assuming the game just wants us to go and collect more taxes in his stead. Which, I'm fine with that, man. I'll shake some people down for their tax money. Are you okay, sir? I'm just gonna walk away. <laughs> he's making some weird noises. Kind of uncomfortable. I think he's on that moon sugar stuff. Not that I would know anything about Moon Sugar. Uh, that guy over there. I'm going this way. I'm assuming all these people are going to be in Sejanine. I mean, it said right on it that it was like the Sejanine tax and whatever offices, right? Why walk when you can ride? It's getting pretty late. We should probably. Well, Fargoth's probably, like, right here somewhere running around. We can find him first, shake him down before we, uh... Go take our nap. Fargoth! Proceus Vitellius. Found his body, huh? Well, it's up to you what to do with that information. I suppose that so... Yeah, whatever. And the census and excise office would be the one to tell if that's... Oh... How do you do work? Well, will you just give me the money instead? No? Okay. In that case... Uh, water's free. We'll take a drink of water. In that case, let's go to the office and actually deal with this the right way. You have something to Where say are the tax yes, offices? Or? That's the trade house. That is... Somebody's house. Nope. Aha! Oh, it's you. Yes, okay. Sir. Hi. Um, I found... Oh, apparently there was some info we never talked to you about. That's fine. Um... Are you not interested in the stuff that I have? Join the Legion, Morland. My trade rules. Wait, what? Wasn't it you? Um, no, not that one. Death of a Taxman. Maybe it's the... Maybe it's like the main guy over here. Maybe What's it's you. Aha, yes. Oh, you're a trainer? You train light armor. Uh, I mean, I do want to get better with light armor, but that is expensive, man. How about a little bit of sneak to get our agility up? Because right now our agility is sitting at a plus two. I would love to get that to like a plus three at least. Or times three, rather. We still have a little bit more money. Um, one more. Still only a times two, sadly, but... Okay, anyways, murder. Uh, murdered, what a waste. Proceus was a good man. I had been wondering why we hadn't heard from him in a few days. Still, these are dangerous times we live in. These sorts of things will happen. Did you happen to find the tax money he'd collected? I hate to be so callous, but I do have a job to do. Well, damn, I just gave you all that money. <laughs> we'll be honest, though. We're a good guy. 
You did? How odd that he was murdered but not robbed. Your honesty is appreciated. I can tell you that. I won't forget this, streamed the barbarian weenie. In fact, if you're looking for some money for yourself, I'd like to see the murderer of Proceus punished. Killing an emperor's tax collector is punishable by death. Find his murderer, bring him to justice, and the census and excise office will pay you 500 septums. Okay. Do you have any, like, leads on maybe who murdered him, though? Um, hmm. The problem is, I didn't realize this was a quest whenever I found the body. So I don't even remember, like, what all we found on him. Because I'm assuming that would help. Oh, that's locked. But yeah, I'm assuming that would help us find whatever we're looking for. I mean, there's nobody around. No, I just said we we're a good, <laughs> good guy. Shouldn't be robbing the place. So who had reason to murder him, I wonder? Oh God, dude. Okay, quick save. It's also very late. We need to get out of town and take a nap. Where was his body? Was it that one? I know it was over here somewhere. I just don't remember where exactly. Hopefully I didn't dispose of his body. So I'm hoping I left something on it that'll lead us in the right direction. I will take your meat. And then, if I can, I will camp near your corpse. Which it looks like I can. Hi there. <laughs> uh, oh, it's empty. Water jug. And have some crab for breakfast. Along with uh, some cooked roots. Nice. Oh, and save. Since we slept. My god, dude. I should probably restart the game. Although, oh, damn, you're not dead? I thought you were dead, man. I wasn't even looking at the screen. Okay. Um... Yeah, the frame rate's starting to get a little iffy, but it's also so late at this point that I'm like, is it worth shutting down the game and restarting it? I don't know. Who's angry? Oh, you. You're just struggling to get to me. Oh, hey, there's the body. <laughs> Perfect. I'm glad this thing started attacking us. No, so you just have pants and shoes on you. So in that case, then... Would it be one of these people that still owed money? I mean, I really had a lot paid. So that stands out to me. And then Foreign Gillanith owed the most that was unpaid. So I think those are probably the two people we should talk to first. Forn Gillanith and Arilly. Okay. Probably butchering that, but... Put that away. And again, presumably they live somewhere in Sejanine. I don't expect it to be a guard... Yeah, you I was going to say, something? most of the time they don't even seem to have names. They're just guards. Uh, someone finally got him, huh? Well, it's no surprise, I suppose. No one likes a tax collector, especially one who flaunts his wealth while taking our hard-earned cash. Only one who could stomach him at all was the Veer over in the lighthouse. The two of them spent some time together. Shame, really. She seemed like a nice woman. 
Yes. Okay, well that's a lead. My patience is limited. No. Is it maybe Okay, so you're the one who had to pay the most. That makes sense now that we know, you know, who you are. Um. Oh shit, we got moon sugar on us. Yes. I should really just like eat the moon sugar or something. <laughs> so we don't have to deal with that anywhere more. Let's talk to the person in the lighthouse. They spent time together. Maybe he knew like somebody was searching for him or something. It's weird that his body's like over there, you know? Almost like somebody dragged him over there or tricked him into going over there. So maybe, maybe he would have said something about where he's going. My name is Thavir Vedrano. I'm the keeper in charge of this lighthouse, which we call the Grand Pharaohs. Uh, you're a lighthouse guard? Or you light the fires. That makes sense. Okay. Murder. Perseus murdered? No, tell me it's not so. He was the gentlest man I've ever met. He and I had become so close in the fast, past few months. I don't know what I would do without him. I've only seen him get angry once or twice. Never raised a hand to anyone. This is so sad. What made him angry? Well, not even angry, I suppose. I saw him arguing once with Forn Gilaneth about his taxes. He thought Proceus had been levying too much and skimming off the top for himself. Ridiculous. Proceus wouldn't have done such a thing, I'm sure of it. Please find out what happened, friend. And if you find out what became of Proceus' ring, it would ease my heart. I gave him the ring many months ago and it was dear to him. I would like it to remember him by... Uh, we didn't get his ring, soul, right? It quick. Um, I assume it would have, like, popped up and said something if we had it on us. Yeah, no. Okay. So, yeah, Forn Gilaneth seems like the most likely culprit. So, who the hell is that? Is it you? Are you the murderer? No. It's just a random house. We took everything out of there, right? Yeah. Speak, traveler. Not you. Does he have a house around here at least? Quick save again. Aha! You, sir. I'm very suspicious of you. Nice. Mer mercantile skill. I will take it. Okay, well, I mean, I don't see anything just, like, sitting about. Don't really have the ability to hide from you. <laughs> so, what do you know of the murder, huh? <laughs> that fetcher, you're damn right I did him in. Oh, and a good thing, too. He was skimming a load of money from all of us honest people, overcharging us on our taxes and keeping the difference for himself. He just straight up admitted to it, man. He was always flaunting his money around, showing off his new clothes and jewels, so I killed the bastard and left his body out there to rot, with all his ill-begotten gold still on him. Oh. I mean, you might be right, but again, I agree, that's no excuse for murder. He's going to kill us. <laughs> You're one of them, huh? Come to kill me. We'll give it your best shot. Work of no problem spilling more blood of the Emperor's lackeys. Oh, God. You are like... <laughs> you are unarmed. <laughs> this uh, That didn't feel right, man. Oh, well. Well, there's his ring. Uh, I mean, look. You attacked us first, so uh, I'm going to steal your gold. <laughs> And, since you're dead, do you have anything of interest in here? Ooh, salt trees. I want that, please. I will not take your cup. Can I sleep in your hammock now? I can't. Cool, we got a second house. Man, this poor guy. He lives like he has nothing. 
I feel really bad for it, but like, he is a murderer though. And he just straight admitted to it, so like there was no question about it. Uh, well, well, we got a house out of it. Which is especially nice here because there is no uh, place to sleep around here without going out into the wilderness and camping. Figured out the murder for you. I heard you had been asking around about his murder. I'm glad to see this matter brought to its completion. Here's your reward. 500 gold. Thank you. Um, goodbye. What do you want? Quite a shame. He was a good man and a loyal servant. Yep. Now that we have all that extra money, though. More sneak. Agility times three. That's what I was hoping for. Let's go. Okay. Weird that that level did go up by one. Did our axe skill go up again or anything? I don't think so. I'm wondering if it just takes more of like the miscellaneous or minor to make this number to go up. Like it does increase it, but just slightly. You know, like a, like a fraction of a point instead of a whole point. That's my best guess at least. Either that or I got a skill in like axes or something at some point and just didn't notice. Which is certainly a possibility. Here you go. I got the ring for you. Oh, you found the ring I gave him. Thank you so much, Stream the Barbarian Winnie. It's good to have something to remember him by. Though I'll never see him again. Here, take this. He usually traveled with a couple when he was doing his job. But he didn't this last time. If only he had. Hey, restore health potions. Those are always nice. Well, thank you. I'm waiting. Do you like me now? Not really, surprisingly. Everything I've done for you, I was thinking maybe their opinion of me would have gone up a little bit. Well, that's another quest down, dude. We're actually getting through quests now that we're not dying constantly, which is a huge help. Um, okay, Fighters Guild we'll deal with soon. Mages Guild, I'm not that interested in doing right away. That tells a little story in Killing in Vivek. So those are the next ones we want to do. The problem is with, like, the Killing in Vivek one, I just have no idea, <laughs> right? Like, where to go or what to do. Vivek is relatively large. There's a lot of freaking people in it. That's rough. Laria Svaro tells a little story. Do I want to make an enemy of the Kamana Tong? That's a hard question, too. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> but those are the only two real quests we have left. Besides the Fighter's Guild. But Fighter's Guild is going to keep going. So there's no point in really completing that one. You're going to get your shower? Enjoy, love. And also, you trying to get the eyes back? Oh, wait. This is like... Nope. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> That's not... I expected you to do, like, one with the big eyes, you know? Not the little beady ones. I was surprised. Um, hmm. So we need to figure out more about the Kamana Tong if we do this one. I'm surprised there's not more black on Bo, considering that, you know, the one you bred with was all black, but... Balmora hangout for the Kwanatong is the corner club called the Council Club. Okay. So back to Balmora to check out the Council Club and ask around, maybe. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I was looking over to see what kind of eyes we got. Oh, there we go. There's your big eyes back. Chocobo, what's up, my guy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, which uh, reminds me, seeing Chocobo come in, I did get a, that copy of um, Pokemon Red from my friend. So, as long as everybody's still okay with it, which I believe everyone is, I'll be moving the votes from Crystal to Red. Um, 
and then we'll see about doing that one soon. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna keep the Pokemon Crystal one up for whenever I get another copy of Pokemon Crystal. I just don't know when that'll be, so it's gonna be turned off for now. Oh god, there's a breeding battle, dude. Y'all are breeding bow to death, the poor thing. He hasn't eaten in days, but you guys are just forcing him to breed over and over again. <laughs> the poor guy. <laughs> what say you? Say nothing to you, lady. Are we hungry? Oh, we're thirsty. There we go. That's better. Feed Bo, man. He's hungry. He deserves food. Okay, we're looking for... What was it? The Corner Club? Razor Hole. Fast Eddie's House. Maybe it's on this one. South Wall Corner Club? Council Club, that's it. So it's this one as soon as we get off. You know what? I want to save first. <laughs> that's what I actually want to do. Because I'm worried like if I go in here and start asking questions and quote unquote creating a bloodbath. They may get angry and start a fight. So I think what we should actually do is stop over at the house... Drop a save. Apparently we're still... Uh, now we're hungry. So yeah, we might as well anyways. Um, yeah, drop a save and then head back over here to the council club. It's me. I'm watching you. What do you know of the council club? Oh, you just tell me where it's at. Okay. Well, goodbye. Is there any junk I need to store? Um, not really. Our weight is kind of high, though. I guess I don't need these tax, rec the tax records now. All of our weight's probably coming from all of these ingredients that we're carrying around. Just eat some of them. Get a little bit of experience. Spring jerky. Ooh, I didn't realize we had more salt trees. Um, marshmallow, and where'd that salt trees go? There we go. Uh, my. We're still health. Oh, and it worked. Okay, well, <laughs> well, we got a couple out of it. Sleep until morning. Okay, we're going to be hungry and thirsty for sure, right? No? Did the game break? How are we not hungry and thirsty? That is surprising. Uh, save. I'm really bad at remembering to save. That was the whole reason we came over here. <laughs> And back to the council club. Which thankfully is pretty easy to remember where it's at because it's right in front of the Silt Strider. There is someone watching me. I can tell. Bro, I can't even see you. <laughs> it's kind of creepy you just you saying that out of nowhere. Um Oh, oh. Didn't expect to find someone, like, somewhat useful in here. Do you know anything about the Kamana Tong? We're just a society of businessmen. We're done and we're proud. We're tired of seeing Morrowind run by outri outsiders who understand nothing about Morrowind. We're tired of trying to explain this over and over again to ignorant outlanders. I'm sorry, it's just people want me to come in and kill you all for some reason? It's nearly 1 a.m. You gotta head to bed. Nana's gotta babysit the kid again. God help me. You poor thing. <laughs> Have a good night, Rue. Hopefully babysitting doesn't go too too poorly. See, I don't really want to make enemies of these guys. She is attached. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad thing, though, right? 
You're a savant? You guys don't actually seem all that bad. It is when she starts to become her mom. Hell no. <laughs> That's funny, man. <laughs> oh. See, that's not right. Giving them the wrong name for you, or giving... Yeah, I guess I don't know the kid. <laughs> giving them the wrong name for you, that part's fucked up. I agree with you there. But, yeah, have a good night, though, Rue. What do you think of the Blades? Their prestigious service ordered for citizens de uh, demonstrating the greatest loyalty to the Emperor to be named the Blades by the Emperor is a great honor and publicly acknowledged members serve openly in noble courts and diplomatic posts. Privately, many Blade members act as the Emperor's intelligence agency. Such agents conceal themselves with secret identities, operating in disguise as couriers, observers, and spies throughout the Empire. Um. Hmm. Okay, so you don't have a good enough opinion of me, it seems like, for you to tell me about him. Is he the one that gave us the quest? Not Mysterious Killings in the back. Um, tells a little story. No, it's Laria Zavaro. Okay. Bad people in my story, five members of the Kamana Tong. I know there are a scout, a pawnbroker, a savant, a thief, and a smith. Oh god, you want me to kill all of them? Um uh, I don't wanna kill them. <laughs> So what? It was the bad people. Um, Council Club. Yeah, I know. What were they again? Bloodbath. Pawnbroker, Scout, Savant, Thief, Smith. So the Smith is upstairs. This is the Savant. So we need Pawnbroker, Thief, Scout. Or the other three we're looking for, which I'm assuming are these three. Please, have a look around. I'm Benor Saren, Publicon, and Tough of the Kamana Tong. Oh, you rent beds? What is your... Uh, are you the pawnbroker? Make it quick, Orc. Or is the pawnbroker the pawnbroker for town? A thief. No, okay, so. so you're the thief. So you're the scout. Is out or hit the road. You're the pawnbroker. So it's downstairs, one, two, three, four, and the one upstairs. Do any of you have any decent opinion of me, like, at all? No. I mean, and why would you, you know? You don't know I don't me. I don't know you. For questions, Outlander. <sighs> I remember being in here before. Um, okay. Well, I like... The idea of having a smith friend. Although a sure pawnbroker friend wouldn't be bad. Really? You won't deal with me because of the stupid moon sugar? Okay. Well, we can deal with that quickly enough. Just ignore me sitting the moon sugar on the ground. Oh, really? You're not a very good pawnbroker, are you? <laughs> You don't mind the moon sugar. Will you buy the moon sugar? You will not. Okay, well, I still think the smith is my favorite for one reason or another. 
Do you take bribes? You do. Sadly, it doesn't seem like I can tell you why I'm here. Bro, it's taking like all of my money. <laughs> sharing is good. I like sharing. Yeah, I'm sure you do when you're getting all the money from me. Um, okay, ow. So now that I've given you all that money, will you tell me about the Kamana Tong? No. You even Fetcher runs the south wall. You'll find him there, wearing down drinks, watering down drinks, and loafing about with the Thieves Guild cronies. I'm a smith. I make, sell, and repair weapons and armor. Um... Ask around like everyone else, south wall. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna give us any real info. Hmm. Stay clear, we don't like, meh. Citizens of the Empire, Mora. I keep thinking because it's still blue that maybe there's more information we can get from him there. But he doesn't really seem to care to give us any more info, does he? We have another 100 gold. No, he's not willing to tell us anything. I see this land suits you. We gave him like 400 gold, man. I mean, gold's not super hard to come by. It's not that big of a deal. But is our only option really to kill him? <laughs> I guess the only other thing we could do is go back to the fort and talk to him again. It's like they don't seem like bad people. I don't want to kill them. I see this land Fuck me, dude. Okay. Um, where's Fort Moon Moth at? Is it this one? No. There it is. It's not far. Let's take a trip. Is it this side? I think it's this side. Yeah. Okay, our acrobatics just went up. Did that give us a thing here? No. But I guess acrobatics aren't one of our major skills either. Darn. Let's eat some moon sugar. Is moon sugar expensive? It is kind of. That didn't work out in our favor. Uh. <laughs> Restore fatigue. Nope, no luck. Drain fatigue. Uh, are we hungry? No, we're thirsty. None of this stuff is useful to us. <laughs> Outside of the experience that we could potentially get. And it's all bad. <laughs> it's all bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> okay. Enough bad stuff for right now. Wonder if it's always the first effect. I assume it is. Rue brush, thank you. Uh this is the fort this way, right? Guess it doesn't say, but yeah, okay, that's the fort right there. It's hard to tell with that sun blazing in our eyes. Okay, now the person that wants us to kill someone. Is it you? Speak up. No, I don't think it's you. 
for you. Damn it, I forgot our moon sugar again, didn't I? No, I didn't. I picked it up. Okay. Was it you? Paragon? No. Necromancy. Okay. Yes. I don't think it was you either. I think he was downstairs, I want to say. Is there a downstairs? Yes, there is. Speak freely, friend. The prison tower? I don't think it would have been in the prison tower. Kind of rude that you guys won't like let me use a bed, you know? Seen any elves? <laughs> Erla? Was it you? Dagon fell? Our mock. Uh, I can't say anything to you about bad people, so presumably no. What's your story? Okay. Well, easy way to figure that out. Options. Larius Varro. It's none of you people. Was he back here? Oh, That's probably the prison towers, yeah. It wasn't Moon Moth, right? Laris Varro over at Fort Moon Moth wants to talk to me about an unspecified... Yeah. Fort Moon Moth. Southeast of Balmora. Okay, yeah. So we're definitely in the right place. It's the Commandant and Rod Hodhart is the chapter steward. Um, okay. So he's definitely here somewhere. We either just overlooked him. Or somehow didn't find the room that he's in. One or the other. You wouldn't be outside, right? You're all just guards. Guard. You're just going to be a guard. Yeah. Guard captain, but still. Okay, so you're the, like, right-hand man. It's not you. You, or you. Was it you? Oh, dude, I thought you were just a normal guard. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's talk about your work. When you finish doing some things, stop back and see me, and we'll see if I found that nice present from the emperor for you. Maybe the story will have a perfect ending. It isn't over yet. Here's what I'm thinking. I love the law. I love the Empire. I love the people I try very hard to keep safe. But sometimes, no matter how hard we try to keep the peace, sometimes there's going to be blood. I think you know what I'm talking about. So I ask you to do this little bit of work if you're willing. Is there not another way? Oh, damn. Just 10 gold is all it took to get you to like me more. Is there not another way to deal with this, though? Oh, well. <laughs> How did I insult you? You've been liking the 10 gold I've given you up to this point. Background. Yeah, Imperial Legion. I know. If you would ask me for the model of a warrior, I'd have to say Miles Gloro Gloriosus. <laughs> He's at the Andes Trade House in Margon right now on a crusade to kill off all the monsters sneaking through the ghost fence, but he always has time to talk with an admirer. Does sound like a decent guy, huh? I'm a warrior by trade. I know how to fight when necessary, but I'd much rather look so tough than critters give up or run away when they see me. Personally, I favor long blades of all kinds. They use long blades of many different styles and craftsmanship here in Morwen. And I wear medium armor for a decent balance of protection and mobility. But I train with various weapon types and armor types, and like any good warrior, I'm, I'm my own armorer. Don't want to fight with worn weapons and worn armor. Too true, too true. Body and spirit are protected as property and may not be used without permission of the owner, and public display of the living dead is widely prohibited. Necromancy itself is not actually illegal. I didn't know that. I see I stand in good company. What can yeah, I do? Yeah, I don't... Fuck, dude. I guess we just had to murder these people and hope for the best. Oh. It feels wrong, though. Like, look, generally, I'm trying not to, like, Google things here. 
in this first playthrough. Freely, friend. But I have to know, is there another way to deal with this? Laris Faro tells a little story. That's the name of it. Laris Varro tells a little story. Ah, uh, the bad people. Um. Okay, I know all that. Find three of the members in the tavern. You don't have to kill the barkeep. One is downstairs. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh... Oh, good. The quest may be bugged and you may get attacked forever. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So, the quest may be bugged. We're going to try it. But there's a chance that we'll get a bounty on our head. And if we do get a bounty on our head, there may be no way to remove it. So we may just have to give up on this quest. Sadly, I didn't see anything about like an alternative way to deal with it. Um... Obviously, you can do things like stealth kills and stuff to try and prevent the bounty. But I didn't see any way to just like, you know, conclude the quest without murder. So I guess we're going to murder. We'll see how it goes. It's also five on one, potentially six, depending on how the barkeep feels about us. So I don't have particularly high hopes either way. But we'll try. Um, I feel like the demon tonto is probably our better bet for a weapon, actually. Oh, wait. Number one. Not lucky lockup. Mm, this one. A warm welcome to you. Ow. Yep, yep. Uh, okay. Focus on one. Okay, one's down. Are you the barkeep? I hope you're not the barkeep. I uh, okay, nope. Oh my god, yeah. There's <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the barkeep definitely did hop in. Oh, wait, no, don't load the quick save. That was the wrong one. Um, okay, there's one other option. So instead of bribing the smith, we can try bribing the barkeep. And if he likes us enough, he might not report the fact that we're fighting people. Or, like, killing people. That's one potential way of getting away with the murders, I guess. Because if we can't, we don't even want the barkeep to join in. Like, if, if we can help it. Because he's not a part of the quest. I wish we had a way to, like, assassinate people. We do have... Hold on. We have that thieves ring. How long does that work for? Chameleon for 10, sanctuary 20. I don't know what sanctuary does. Agility, speed, and personality. It doesn't really help our sneak much, does it? Uh, Scorcher, vitality... 
Yeah, I don't think we actually have anything that'll help. We can try this chameleon ring, see what it does. But since, like, as soon as we come in here... Like, he's gonna see us, right? Can I get behind you without you, like, seeing me? What if I, like... Okay. Nope, you see me. Oh, wait, it wore off. Hold on. Man, it wears off quick, doesn't it? Make it yeah, quick. he sees us, like, no matter what we do. So that's not gonna work. Okay. Um, bribe you. With all of our gold. Okay, not all, but a our fair bit. Are always open. I'm glad you're our friend and all. You talk too much, Outlander. Die, okay. Uh, that was nice and all. Now we want to get the Demon Tonto. There we go. Demon Tonto. You in uh, okay. Oh my god, dude. This isn't gonna go well. Um. Soothing bomb. Oh, damn, I didn't even have a chance to get away. Hello. This one again. We're gonna try one more time. One more time, and then we're giving up on it, I think, for now. We might just have to come back whenever we have a higher level. It's just a lot of people to deal with at one time. We could try some of our scrolls. They deal a lot of damage. Actually. Not a terrible idea now that I think about it. The Shadow Weave thing was pointless. That obviously didn't do anything for us. So we can ignore that strategy. I think the Demon Tonto is definitely the way to go. It just attacks so much quicker, even if it doesn't deal as much damage per hit. Um, okay, so go in. Persuade you with some gold so you love us. Okay. What? It literally just worked a moment ago. Whatever. Hopefully 97 is enough. What, Outlander? Why do you disturb me? And then... Do we have... What, what fortifies do we have? Apparently nothing. Really? Restore, 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 restore. Shit, I guess not, dude. Okay. Um... Oh, shoot. No, we need to equip it. Scroll of Scorcher. That didn't deal nearly as much as I had hoped. I'm not going to lie. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that did something. Um... Oh my god, we're gonna die though, dude. Nope, nope, nope. Stay back. Stay back. <laughs> oh my god. I lied. We're gonna try one more time. No spells or anything this time. Just gonna go in with the with the dagger. Go in with the dagger and hope for the best. And if it doesn't work this time, then we're actually done. I'm going the wrong way. Let's get the Demon Tonto. That's definitely the best option we have there. And then... Pop the Ring of Medusa's Gaze, maybe? I don't know how helpful that'll actually be with like such a large group of people. It's 
Too bad our sneak you sucks so bad. I want you to die is what I want. Well, no, I don't actually want you to. But I want you to die easily. Okay. 100. Get that. Bring a Medusa's gaze. Okay. That didn't do what I had hoped it would do. Holy shit. Who did all that damage? It's you. You're the damage dealer. Oh my god, dude. I think that's going to be it for today. <laughs> the only other thing we can try. We're not going to do it tonight. We're going to wait. But we could try dealing with the one downstairs first. Maybe we can get a sneak on her. Uh, that might help something. I was hoping that casting the, the Ring of Medusa's gaze on the smith up here wouldn't instantly aggro everybody. But obviously I was wrong about that. So <laughs> next week, yeah, I think we'll just try... Killing the thief down bottom. And then, like, doing the smith next makes the most sense to me because they're farthest away. But whoever the hell it is wielding that thing there. Hold on. I'm just curious. We're not actually going to do anything. I'm just going to run back over here because, like, who's wearing the those red clothes? Yeah, I'm still streaming. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm stopping. I'm not going to, like, keep going. I was just talking a little bit while getting off. But then curiosity piqued my interest here. And I, I need to know who's the person with the big weapon. <laughs> the one that's, like, killing me. Dealing so much damage so quickly to me. We are we are done, though. We're, we're wrapping up. Say but it's not you. It's you. Have a look around. Even after giving you a hundred friendship... You're the one that's coming up and murdering me. Well, damn. Okay, so that didn't work either. So then our only... Our only real... Oh, bruh. I'm sad that I died so quick. I just wanted to know... If they get angry at me first, like if they attack me first, I'm wondering if the uh, bar dude will still... Because at that point, it's self-defense, right? Technically speaking. <laughs> so the, I'm not sure if it works that way or not. But because <laughs> like stealing something or trying to steal something, getting caught, then they attack me. So then I kill them in self-defense. I wonder if maybe the barkeep won't get mad about that. So that's what we'll do. We'll try to steal something from the thief. Most likely get caught. And then... If we die, or then, then yeah, then we'll try to kill her. And uh, see if the, the bar keep joins in or not. We'll still bribe him with a bunch of gold so that he likes us first. But anyways, that's for next week, guys. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Until then, though, have a good night, everyone. Thank you all for coming out. And uh, be kind to each other, y'all. <laughs> Bye! Yeah, let's save. Let's do that. <laughs> Before we go any farther, let's throw a quick save down, man. I'd rather not get blown up again, so...